What is going on guys? Welcome back to Talking Jets with Tigo. My name is Tigo and today we're going to be going over the players that the New York Jets should look to sell, the, tr the players that the New York Jets should look to buy, and all of the players to keep an eye out this Sunday and next Sunday as we can scout them out and see maybe they might be good fits for the New York Jets. There were a couple of players on the New York Jets roster that I came up with that I said, you know what, I'd be okay if these guys were traded. So no intro, no anything. Let's just hop right into it. So I want to keep the video short, but there's a lot of players that I want to talk about. So let's hop right into it, right? So let's talk about players that we can sell. Let's talk about the guy that uh, I already made a, an entire video just on him, Denzel Mims. If you're interested to hear my thoughts on him, go watch that video. Um, I think it might be time for us to trade him. I want to see him do well. I just don't see him getting snaps on the New York Jets. So let's get what we can for him. Let's move on from Denzel Mims. The next player or players that we should trade away is one of Mike White or Joe Flacco. There is no need for us to carry both of these guys uh, on the roster, especially when you've got a guy like Chris Streveler on the, ro on the roster bubble. If it was up to me, I would trade away Mike White. Um... Just because I don't want to have that even be a conversation this coming up offseason of whether or not Mike White could be the backup. I want the New York Jets to go out and find a different backup. I don't like Mike White. I don't like Joe Flacco. I want to be more confident in my backup. You can you saw what a, a good backup can do in the NFL with Cooper Rush and different guys out there being backups, coming in and playing well for their team. I, would, I don't have faith in Joe Flacco or Mike White, but there might be a franchise because these guys are still pretty good backups that might be willing to part ways and trade for one of these guys. The last guy on offense is someone that, uh, if you've been a part of the channel for any amount of time, you would know that I'm not his biggest fan. But now that the offensive tackle position is starting to get healthy, is there a situation where we can do a sign-and-trade or trade him to a team that needs help at the left tackle position uh, and wants to extend him long term. And yes, I'm talking about the currently injured but coming back from injury relatively soon, George Fant. I don't see George Fant being on this football team beyond this year. And with us bringing in Mike Remmers and Ogbehi and Elijah Vera Tucker showing us that he can play tackle at an elite level, Dwayne Brown coming back from injury and looking good, Max Mitchell expected to come back from injury relatively soon. With all of those things happening, I feel like it's time for us to move on from uh, George Fant. Thank you for being a New York Jet and doing all the things that you did. Sayonara. You won't be here next year. You're not the answer at tackle, in my opinion. And then last but not least... The last player that we could probably look at trading is cornerback Bryce Hall. These are trades, uh, specifically with Bryce Hall, Denzel Mims, and the backup quarterbacks, are trades that I recommended at the beginning of the season, which, which is when I think we should have made these moves. Bryce Hall has not dressed since game one. He is a CB2 on a lot of football teams out there, but he's not going to play time on the, he's not going to find playing time on the New York Jets. Brandon Eccles is a better backup cornerback than Bryce Hall. I said this at the beginning of the year. Watch out. Brandon Eccles is legit as a backup. Will Parks and Michael Carter are now splitting reps at that nickel uh, safety corner spot, which is absolutely great, and I love that game plan. And now with Quincy Williams back, there just isn't a spot on the roster where he can play, plain and simple. So let's move on from him. Now let's look at players that the New York Jets can trade for. Uh, the easiest way to do this, obviously, is I went to the teams that I looked at that I thought were going to be sellers at the deadline. And the first team that came to head, uh, came to my mind, was obviously started with the Carolina Panthers. Now, I know where everybody's mind goes with Carolina is on the offensive side of the ball. Oh, Christian McCaffrey. Oh, um, DJ Moore. Oh, Terrace Marshall Jr. First things first, if I'm the Carolina Panthers, I'm not trading any of my wide receivers. If I'm trading something on offense, it's going to be Michael um, Christian McCaffrey because he's going to he's gonna probably bring back multiple first-round picks. And I don't think we need a running back. We've got an elite running back in Brees Hall. So who is it that I have the New York Jets possibly targeting? Well... I saw this I saw this headline that maybe he was on the chopping block and that they were taking calls from him and Derek Brown interior defensive lineman for the Carolina Panthers might be made available guys 
if Derek Brown was made available and the New York Jets believe in this football team enough and say, you know what? This is a Super Bowl team. We believe in him. Derek Brown is the guy I want us to go get. Can you imagine the one-two punch of Quinn and Williams quite easily, possibly one of the better, if not the best, interior defense and linemen in the NFL right now and partnering him with a top five other interior defensive lineman in Derek Brown? Talk about making a strength an even bigger strength. Um, I would love for the New York Jets to go out and address the interior of the defensive line. This just happened to be the biggest splash that we could make on the interior of the defensive line. And those two partnered up together, Brown and Williams, would just be unstoppable. We would have the most elite interior defensive line in the NFL, hands down, easy breezy. It doesn't, like, there's no conversation about it. And then the other person on the Carolina Panthers that I thought maybe the New York Jets could target would be Shaq Thompson, linebacker. Now, Shaq Thompson is a little bit on the older side. Derek Brown was 24 years old uh, and a former first-round pick. Shaq Thomas, uh, uh, Shaq Thompson, I'm sorry, is also a former first-round pick, but he is 28, 29 years old. This is a move to where you're trying to just help and create depth in the linebacker room, and ultimately that's what I want to do. I really think we have a really decent – Borderline good one, two, three in the linebacker room in CJ Mosley, Quincy Williams, and Quan Alexander. I would like to add one more body there to really just make it, you know, round it out. Quincy Williams already got hurt this year. You're scared that you might aggravate something there. Quan Alexander hasn't had a full healthy season in a long time. And while I really like Jamie and Sherwood and Hamza Nasruddin, I'd still like the ability to have a little bit. Uh, of, of, of an answer there, maybe even have something that might be an answer long-term. Shaq Thompson might be uh, an option to look at. And those were the only two Carolina Panthers players that I looked at, and I was like, you know what? These are the guys I feel comfortable trading for. Next, we're going to talk about another uh, linebacker from a team that we actually already played against and uh, might be an interesting place for us to target and that's going to be linebacker Devin Bush of the Pittsburgh Steelers now this is a trade that you make that you can it would not be a high value uh, asset that you would send the other way at max you're looking at maybe like a fifth or a sixth round pick but I'm only making this trade if our coaching staff believes they can fix Devin Bush Devin Bush has had and suffered injuries in the past but that being said if we believe that we can fix Devin Bush and turn him into that first-round pedigree linebacker that everyone thought that he could have been when he was drafted number 10 overall. Like, remember, the Jets were picking 10 that year, and the Steelers came up to 10 to draft him. If the New York Jets believe, you know what, maybe the problem isn't uh, Devin Bush, maybe it's the Pittsburgh Steelers, if you believe more in that ability, hey, maybe... That's the move you can make. Next, we're going to be going over to the NFC, and we're going to stick to the NFC for the next three players. We're going over to the Washington Commanders. They look like they might be sellers at the deadline. Now, uh, I don't think that they're going to be selling any of their super elite assets, but former first-round pick Darren Payne might be available. Darren Payne has had a relatively quiet but sneakily surprising season he hasn't been abysmal and Darren Payne is still 25 years old you can see a trend here guys interior defensive linebackers uh, interior defensive linemen and linebackers those are the positions that I want to address and I just want to get depth there I'm scared of the injury possibility at those positions because at the interior defensive line we have two players Quinn and Williams and Sheldon Rankins and that's it Unfortunately, Solomon Thomas and Nathan Shepard aren't providing us anything. I don't believe in the guys that we have on the practice squad. Darren Payne would immediately come in and become the third best interior defensive lineman and be a really, really good rotational piece. Where now, where we rotate Darren Payne in, I'm not that worried. Because right now, when Solomon Thomas or uh, Nathan Shepard is in, I'm concerned about the middle of that defensive line. Darren Payne? Not as much. He's been productive, and he's been doing a relatively good job. He might just need a change of scenery. Comes over to the New York Jets. We could probably sign him uh, and extend him on a relatively cheap deal because he hasn't had a super-duper crazy productive career. And now you're addressing and fixing the interior defensive line long-term and finding, hopefully, a partner in crime for Quinn and Williams in the future. Next, we move over to the Atlanta Falcons. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said the wrong team. 
We're moving over to the Chicago Bears. Very clearly, the Bears are going to be sellers at the deadline. We know that they're not a good team right now. Um, they're not doing good things. And there's two players on the Bears that maybe might get traded. We know one because he's requested a trade, and that's Roquan Smith. I think that that's the one guy that I would really, really like the Jets to go out and get. At 25 years of age, former first-round uh, pick, um, I feel like this team might be moving on from C.J. Mosley. Roquan, Roquan Smith and Quincy Williams uh, look like a pretty good foundation in the linebacker room moving forward. And we all know my thoughts on Quan Alexander. I would like to extend him. And so that's a really good one, two, three punch moving forward. But adding him to a linebacker room that has CJ Mosley this year is only going to help him help him develop into a bigger and better leader for this team and really upgrade that room. Now, here is the one guy that there hasn't been a rumor about him. There hasn't been a conversation about him. No one's even mentioned this guy as a possible uh, trade away target. But if the Bears decided to part ways with safety, Eddie Jackson, I think the New York Jets have to be in that conversation. Eddie Jackson has, is an incredible coverage safety. He's doing an exceptional job this year on a bad team. And if we could acquire a player like Eddie Jackson uh, to come and help shore up our safety room, I really like what we're getting out of our safeties in Quan Alexander, Quan Alexander in Jordan Whitehead and LaMarcus Joyner. They have turned the they have righted the ship, in my opinion. But LaMarcus Joyner is 31 years old. Eddie Jackson is only 27. Eddie Jackson can be a solution at safety for about the same amount of time, if we can extend him for three years, can be offsetting by one year with Jordan Whitehead. And I like the idea of keeping around a team and building for the future with players that are playing at a really high level. So those are the guys that I would target if I was the New York Jets. Let's go back over them really, really quickly. It's interior defensive linemen, Derek Brown of the Carolina Panthers and Darren pa Derek Brown and Darren Payne of the Commanders. It's linebackers Shaq Thompson of Carolina, Devin Bush of the Steelers, and Roquan Smith of the Chicago Bears. And lastly, it's safety Eddie Jackson of the Chicago Bears. Let me know what you guys think of that. Is there any position that I didn't talk about that you think we should address? Who are those players? Let me know in the comment section below i know that i will unfortunately put myself through watching um carolina and chicago bears games because those are the teams that i think are going to be selling the most but maybe we're looking at and scouting possibly a future new york jet let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and last but not least go jets